What in the world is Manuka honey? And why do you want it in your preps? Stay tuned. So what is Manuka honey? Manuka honey is produced in New Zealand by bees that pollinate the native Manuka bush. Advocates say it treats wound infections and other conditions. Let's take a look at what the science says about using Manuka honey as a medicine. Honey is produced, um, honey has been used since ancient times to treat multiple conditions. It wasn't until the late 19th century that researchers discovered that honey has natural antibacterial qualities. Honey protects against damage caused by bacteria. Some honey also stimulates production of special cells that can repair tissue damaged by infection. In addition, honey has anti-inflammatory action that can quickly reduce pain and inflammation once it is applied. But not all honey is the same. And this is what I want to talk about, the difference between regular table honey and manuka honey. The honey today and the difference between manuka honey and re regular uh, pure honey for like uh, table honey. And basically manuka honey is a medicinal honey that you can use for um, like first aid and uh, medicinal type purposes where uh, regular honey that still has antibacterial properties is not a super honey uh, like the now, Manuka honey. The, the property, uh, the product that I have here, and I'm hoping you can see this, looks like my lighting is a little off. Okay, so the Manuka honey that I have, this specific brand that I have, which is Manuka Health, they have an MGO rating. Okay, this MGO rating is 400. Now, this is only for this brand, uh, Manuka Health. They have their own number system. There is another number system that is a nationally recognized system, um, and that is a UMF rating. And the UMF stands for Unique Manuka Factor. Okay, so that is the nationally recognized UMF rating for Manuka honey. And I just have this brand that has their own rating system. So basically, on the internationally UMF rating, it starts at number 10. And number 10 is like the minimal amount to make it medicinal. That's like number 10. So they say use number 16 and over. Uh, for the most, that's like the most powerful, uh, well not the most powerful, but the best for like uh, wound healing and things of that nature. So, and this Manuka honey you can actually digest as well. So, who brought this to my attention? Manuka honey was brought to my attention by uh, a YouTuber of Prepared Mind 101. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and over there and do it. And uh, I'll put a link below also. Uh, Chris at Prepared Mind 101, great channel, really focuses on the mind. Um, he's got some videos that you may not have a lot of patience for when you first watch them, but just let him, let him play through, let him speak his piece, and some of the stuff may actually make sense to you if you apply it from day to day um, in your day to day life. Uh, also, anything with an edge, uh, I this guy reviews a lot of knives, a lot of gear, and he, he's on a 101 basis. Uh, so, you know, he's not uh, showing you Sabenzas and uh, uh, the top of the line gear and top of the line knives. He's using everyday common folk, what they can afford type thing. So, go check him out. He was um, doing a video on um, his medic bag, and it's one of his recent videos. And in the medic bag, he was talking about Manuka honey. And I have never, never heard of it before. And I've had at least a dozen surgeries on my feet um, for different issues for both feet. And I was actually just on the tail end of, and still am, recovering from my last surgery that I had in late July. And still had some wounds uh, that occurred on my foot. 
uh, from that surgery that still weren't healed up and used the Manuka honey and made a great difference in the speed um, of which these are getting healed up. So um, wanted to share this on the YouTube video. Um, I wanted to share all this information for you guys. So on this Manuka honey, uh, this 400 means that there's at least uh, 400 milligram. Uh, it has been certified uh, to contain at least 400 milligram of dietary methagloxal. Methagloxal. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not. Uh, but anyway, methagloxal. A natural compound found in significant quantities and only some of the manuka honey pr uh, produced from the wild uncultivated manuka honey plant in New Zealand so this that's what the 400 means on this product there's at least 400 milligrams of that product uh, of that substance found in this honey okay so let me show you the differences between the honeys here uh, again, both of these, they are honeys, they are edible, okay? I got a little piece of cardboard here. I just kind of want to show. Let's do this. Regular old table honey, okay? Just want to put a dot of that on there. Kind of see the color and the consistency of that. Maybe I'll zoom into that in a minute. Okay, the Manuka honey is much darker than a table honey. Okay, it still smells like honey. But Manuka honey is very little bit different looking. So I'm going to show you the difference here. <clears throat> okay, you see this product here is regular table honey. This product here is the Manuka honey. Again, both are edible. This is a medicinal honey with healing properties, antibacterial, antifungal. Uh, Chris from Prepared Mind 101 was talking about athlete's foot. Um, he actually used uh, the Manuka honey on an athlete's foot for antifungal. Took 48 hours for that to disappear where he was saying fast actin, tenactin, the spray could take up to two weeks. Um, and you can see that the viscosity of the table honey um, you can see where that's wanting to run off the paper here where the Manuka honey is just a much more solid uh, much more chunky type of uh, honey um, this is a lot sweeter than that one uh, I have tried it the table honey is just naturally more sweet this does have a sweetness to it but not as much as the table honey but you can definitely see the difference between the two okay so I think having Manuka honey in your uh, medic bag or your first aid, your boo-boo kit, great idea. Um, if you don't have a Neosporin or a triple antibiotic, uh, this is kind of Mother Nature's way of uh, having an antibacterial, uh, antifungal type product. So I urge you to go on to Amazon.com. Um, by the way, the cost of this stuff is not cheap. I think this uh, bottle right here uh, costs me right around 26 to 30 bucks, um, and it's 8.75 ounces, and uh, so it's not cheap. But again, if you're using it for medicinal purposes, and you're not you're drinking it in your tea every day, and you certainly could drink it in your tea if you wanted to. Um, like I said, a lot of people use this for digestive uh, help with their body as well. Go on Amazon, um, and when you look at the honeys, remember the UMF rating on the other one should be 16 or higher. If you're buying this brand of Manuka honey, which I found on Amazon, um, 400 or higher I would recommend. Read the reviews. Read the reviews of why people are using this. Most people um, were using it for wounds and infections. This has also been... Um, uh, tested against MRSA and the superbugs and has found uh, they have found great results against using Bring this, this in your MRSA. bag I think it's worth having as a prep um, a natural way to fight off uh, bacteria and infections what a great product to have 
again, I'd like to uh, thank Chris from Prepared Mind 101 uh, for bringing this to my attention in his video. And I uh, wanted to give him credit for showing me the product. And after I've used it and seen results, uh, the kind of results just in the two weeks that I've used the product or week and a half that I've used the product, wanted to just say thank you. I appreciate it. It has made a difference in my healing process. Your results may vary. Uh, but I can only talk about my experience and again I'm not a doctor but your results may vary but I think that the results that I've had prompted me enough to make a video about this product okay guys thanks I really appreciate your time